Hi, this is Elliot Haspel and welcome to another edition of Best Practices Weekly. Today we're going to be talking about different approaches to class discussions about reading. And this comes from an article in the Journal of Educational Psychology in which several university researchers did a meta-analysis on studies going back 40 years about different types of class discussions and the effect that they have on students' reading comprehension. And a meta-analysis just meaning they analyzed dozens and dozens of studies, both contemporary and slightly older, to see what were the trends in these studies. And they found it was pretty interesting. They found that different approaches to having class discussions broke down into three basic groups. And these groups were not completely separate, so certainly they each had characteristics of the other, but generally speaking, this is how you can group them. Our first group is the critical analytic approaches, and these are approaches that are really focused on being able to pull out evidence from the text and work with that. And so these are uh, things like collaborative reading, the Padilla seminar, and philosophy for children. And I'm only going to talk about these very generally, so if you are not sure what they are, definitely look them up. I encourage you to do that. There's a group called the efferent, which is a fancy word for text-focused group, and this is very much getting into the literal what's going on in the text, and this is things like instructional conversations, junior great books, shared inquiry, and questioning the author. And then there's a group that's known as expressive, and these are more sort of emotional and motive-based, and these are ones that are really focused on how does this uh, book text make us feel, what do we think the author is feeling, what do we think that the, the characters are feeling, things like that. And these are approaches such as book club, grand conversations, and literature circles. And what the authors found was that actually the different groups do indeed have different impact on students' reading comprehension and that being very deliberate about what kind of class discussion you're having is going to lead to a different result in terms of students building their skills. So again, the critical analytic group builds critical thinking, as you might expect from the title. The effort or text focus group really builds literal comprehension, ex text explicit comprehension. What's going on in this story? Let me be able to retell what's going on. And then the expressive group Brings, uh, builds the if inferential comprehension, really being able to pull out what's read between the lines, think about what's not being said explicitly, but still be able to really deeply understand uh, what might be happening on an emotional level in the story. And so these three main groups, there are two other interesting pieces of it. First, for each of them, teacher talk went down, student talk went up. So pretty much whatever class discussion approach you're having, you can, you can assume that's going to be a benefit. And then the second part was that for all of these different approaches, there was a ceiling effect when it was used past about six months seems to be the cutoff that the impact on students start to plateau. So if you've been using one strategy, say questioning the author or literature circles for more than six months, you're going to start seeing diminished returns, which would suggest as a teacher you might consider varying it up after about half a year. And what the authors conclude is that teachers aren't often as deliberate necessarily in thinking about what kind of class discussion to have, but that actually different kinds of class discussions do lead to growth in different parts of reading comprehension. So the teacher should be really deliberate, really strategic, and really think through why am I having this particular type of class discussion? What's the goal that I want my students to learn out of it? And then pick accordingly. So thanks for watching and happy teaching.